there was one mitzvah that you should focus on. You should do all mitzvahs. There's one mitzvah you should focus on before Yom Adin. What should it be? A big one that can change everything and tilt the scales in our favor. Tshuva. Avade. Do tshuva, you fix it all, and now you have to do mitzvahs. What mitzvah should you do? It's just a heavy duty one. Kibudah give all the and a person who's not near his father or doesn't have one. The other Hakamacha is give aldik. He lives in a city by himself. He's traveling now. He's on business. No Jews there. Now what you say? Well, Shabbos next week. Shabbos we said. That's the chido. Comes the leket yosher. Leket yosher is one of the rishonim. All the Torah that we have from Tuma Sadeshen is from Leket Yosher, it's great Talmud. Why? It's very interesting. I say, how do we have the Sefer called Leket Yosher? Everybody knew that he's a Talmud of the Tuma Sadeshen. So once he came to a certain place and they said to him, no, say something in the name of your Rebbe, say something. He says, you don't have anything to say. He was so embarrassed. Moti Shabbos, he came back and from that day on, he didn't stop writing every single thing that Tumas Adeshin did, including when he sneezed, including when he ate. Every single move that Tumas Adeshin did is recorded. The Minhagim, the Hanhagos, every single thing. That's why we have the, the Torah of Tumas Adeshin, because the Leket Yosher was asked, what, what do you have to share with your Rebbe? So you realize, you have to write that, otherwise you forget. Leket Yosher says in the name of his Rebbe, Tumas Adeshin, that he gave this drasha in Shabbat Shuvah. The Pasuk in Mishlei says, Malve Hashem, when you give money to the Ani, you become a lender to Kodesh Bochum. Malve Hashem, who is the lender to Kodesh Bochum? The one who gave money, Tzedakah, to the Ani. Because really, the Kodesh Bochum created the Ani. He should sustain him. What do you have to win? What do you want for, the, what do you want for me? But since I decided to give the Tzedakah to the Ani, I am now a lender and a Kodesh Bochum is a borrower. It's kind of bold to say that, but it continues on. In Sanhedrin of Lamed Aleph Amud Beis, we say, a borrower and a lender, they have a little fight. The borrower says, come, let's go to my base din. And the lender says, no, no. I want you to take you to my base din. I want to go to the base din, Agodol Birushalayim. Who do we listen to, the Malve or the Loive? Malve? Koyfin es Aloive. We force the, the, lend, the borrower to go after the lender to the base din, Agodol. Why? Because there's another pasuk in Mishlei. Eved loive le The borrower becomes like a slave to the lender. If it wasn't Tuma Sedeshin saying this, we wouldn't be able to say this. HaKodesh Baruch now becomes your slave as if when you give money to the Yani. Because you're the lender. He is the borrower. The borrower is a slave. And therefore, when HaKodesh Baruch wants to take us to his base din on Rosh Hashanah, we say, whoa, 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 wait a second. We're the lender. You're the borrower. We are forcing you to go to the base din HaGadol. And that is the Beidin of Midas Rachamim. And therefore, says the Tumas Adeshin, everyone he should see to make sure that he gives a lot of tzedakah now to make sure that he is the lender. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the borrower, and then he can force HaKadosh Baruch Hu to take him to Beidin HaGodol of Midas Rachamim. Shhh. Listen, 